Ladies and gents, welcome to GWX and this is Design Role Analysis of China's 6th Gen Fighter Jet. What? How that happened? How the fuck that happened? Okay, this has been in news apparently for more than a week. This video is 8 days old. Ah. Did they got plans for NGAD somehow, just like they did for F-35s and things? You know how bad that would be? Do you know the level of burn that is? The USS stops the production and like plans for NGAD when they are the one who came up with it. And it's somebody somehow acquired. I'm not saying they acquired like that, but they did do that with the F-22 and F-35 design. So if they somehow acquired that, or maybe made 6th generation from 5th generation and up, you know how bad that would be? Like China has 6th generation one, and USA does not. Yeah, this would be one of the biggest slap there can be because it passed 80 years. Uh, even with the Soviet versus USA thing, nothing has been able to outclass USA. Nothing has been faster than USA. This will be the first time. And China has been trying to overtake USA. They actually successfully managed to do that with the numbers of ships. They officially have biggest navy by numbers. If they do this, it's like that is like a writing in the wall. I'm not gonna lie. I'm the you know I'm Indian, so I'm all for like dunking on China. But come on, six Jan. I mean, come on. Let's go this one. China's aerospace sector flew a sixth generation fighter design for the first time. This video will go over its most obvious design features and try to deduce their implications. It will also explore just where in the design process China is with its 6th gen fighter and we will explain just what are we actually looking at when we see the strange looking flying diamond of a plane. Look at the kite ship! This is what NGAD was supposed to look like. Okay, again, I'm not saying that this is an NGAD design. I'm saying this is what 6th generation should look like. How to make it more stealthy, make it into a fucking kite, right? This is it, look at that. This is what 6th generation plane should look like. So it is a 6th generation one. Why else shape it like that, right? A video that's to come sometime later will go more in depth. Provide historical context and comparison with the US next gen program and reveal what does the plane's appearance mean for China and what could it mean for the US. For some days now, the imminent flight of a Chinese 6th gen airframe was rumored and, well, it actually seems to have happened. The plane seems to have flown over the city of Chengdu after the aircraft took off from the factory complex of Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, that's the maker of China's J-20 5th gen fighter, which was appropriately the chase plane for this occasion. So what's the new plane like? Thankfully, the J-20 chase plane gives us context. Due to telephoto lenses used over great distances, sizes of two planes can be confidently compared, and while J-20 has a wingspan of around 13 meters, this new plane is visibly bigger. In fact, its wingspan might reach 20 meters, which would basically be unheard of for a jet fighter. Even more so when we look at the plane's configuration. Those are highly swept back wings, basically as one would expect for a super... Holy shit, look at that. Look at how it looks. Now I know some people would basically say, oh, this is just for a stunt. They made a whole plane for stunt. And China is big enough now that what do they get out of like just saying this? It's like, they don't have to flex. They are powerful enough now. So unless they actually have something in works, why would they do that? So they're actually working on like a 6th gen. And that's the thing, right? Uh, ideologies change, people's priorities change, and US priority is not to look for 6th generation now. Their priority is like more on like numbers and like uh, logistics and things like that. Making F-35 6th gen like and things like that. But China, for them this is a new thing, like uh, getting tech and becoming powerful. China is now finally becoming like powerful where they can compete with USA. So for them to acquire some even next generation that even US doesn't have, for them that's a goal, right? 
So it would make sense if China pursued that more than US does and China actually acquires that. Sonic fighter jet. Length can be estimated from other images suggesting 20 to 22 meters. That's without the nose pitot tube which is required for testing but the final design years later will not have it. The wing's trailing edge is swept forward leading to a diamond wing shape, somewhat reminiscent of YF-23 for example, though not as extreme. In general the theoretical perfect stealth shape for a plane is one of a so-called hopeless diamond, a perfect rhomboid shape as flat as possible and with as few protrusions as possible. It is obvious the volume of the plane is frankly massive, its belly intakes start quite forward and the body of the plane is very wide. It's plausible China's Air Force requirement was ranged to threaten Guam, such a requirement would have driven the design to grow so large. Coupled with a huge wing area, that plane is simply oversized, not necessarily in a bad way, but it is sized to accept a huge... I think uh, being oversized like that would give them... Uh more fuel economy for the range right that is what the wing is supposed to do it will it would cause issues with like maneuverability and things but then again it's a stealth plane it will it was always gonna have uh compromises but if it's like big wing like that it can fly longer distances for fewer fuel so maybe range is one of the things yeah i don't know this is one of the things that should panic us now us senate and congress basically who basically decide what to do trump administrator administration right this should panic them and i feel like it will kind of because no one in past like i said eight decade has done this last time somebody did this was soviet union and they didn't really do it but like us panicked anyway for the f-15 right so this is like one of those things where like okay fuck it let's res resume ngad i think they're gonna do that huge amount of fuel and a hint of the line where the weapons bay should be suggests its weapons bay might be almost 6 meters long, which is coincidentally the length of China's latest long-range PL-17 missile. Of course, with such a huge body, cruise missiles larger than the US JASM might also easily fit. What also seems visible are sensor apertures around the nose, not just the nose radon, but also a few different cheek side arrays. The plane has a visible cockpit cover so it's manned. So far images aren't good enough to deduce if it's big enough to seat two people. The rumors before the flight did suggest the plane has side-by-side -side seating, meaning two pilots similar to F-111 or Su-34. That doesn't mean we are looking at the strike aircraft, as sixth generation fighters are gonna wage air warfare in a different way. But given the size of the plane and its weapons bay, it's also quite plausible the shown design is really a multi-role. Yeah, sixth ge generation is something like uh, threatening in a way that nobody even want to come close to it. That's what they should do, right? Uh, they're stealthy as fuck, but they, they, they should have drones with them. And they should have like an insane long range and long range missiles, advanced missile, and insane radar that can like pinpoint everything so basically if you are playing a video game and there is some kind of a boss roaming around and you keep is you know like assassin Creed origins there are phalanx or whatever like running around you just basically alarm blast like somebody comes close and you run away that's how six generations should be and they don't have to maneuver that way because they are not supposed to go in a dogfight so that would make sense with the wingspan and things plane to cover all sorts of air combat and ground strike missions but we digress one of the most striking features, perhaps unique in the world, is its engine arrangement. This plane seems to have three engines, lined up in the rear, with the side engines using belly slash side intakes, and the middle engine seems to have... Why three? Just make more powerful to... I guess engine is the problem. China... I remember China having engine problems in the past with the J-20 thing. Is this the similar issue, that they can't make better engines, so they're just like, fuck it, fit three? That could be. ...have a separate dorsal intake. Such an arrangement is unheard of for an actual fighter jet that managed to get off a drawing board. Side intakes seem to be of carat type, similar to say F-22, and not of the vertless supersonic inlet type, which F-35 and J-20 use. Whether that suggests higher top speeds intended is for now unknown. 
Certainly the high sweep of the wings, coupled with the even higher sweep of one continuous line of the nose blending into the wing roots, suggests a fairly high theoretical Mach figure. Now why three engines? It's too early to tell, but off the bat it could suggest designers simply could not make powerful enough yet compact enough engines for such a plane, and keep the design confined to the more usual two-engine solution. This thing is massive. One can clearly see double wheel bogies used for main landing gear. Given its size, it seems likely its max takeoff weight is designed for maybe even 50 tons. In the olden era, that would be a tactical bomber. But planes have been getting bigger over the decades, and next gen planes from all countries are likely to be heavier than their predecessors. Even so, this thing is plausibly so big that even two of China's most powerful engines, the WS 15, which may in its future variants approach 200 kN of thrust, may not be enough to power it, hence possibly the need for three engines. It's also plausible that the middle engine is somewhat different and that engine usage is managed for various situations and needs. It is not known if China is going with variable cycle engines like the US, but if it's not, China may have optimized one engine for supersonic speeds while others would be regular designs, compromised to operate both at takeoffs and supersonic speeds. Also, three engines might be needed to supply the plane with enough electricity. Modern planes are so full of power demanding features that the power generation is becoming more and more of a bottleneck. Imagine a laser self defense feature is also added in the future. That too would require tons of electricity. Finally, the whole design should be a pretty big jump up in terms of stealth. In 2022, US General Mark Kelly said China was on track with the development of their sixth generation fighter and that China is eyeing to make its stealth exponentially better. Okay, an exponential reduction in signature and exponential exponential processing power and sensing. Yeah, but uh, the J20s is not that good compared to F-35 and F-22 stealth. So what does that translate? Good compared to what? Compared to J-20? Then their sixth generation stealth might be worse than F-22 and F-35. Like at that point, I know it's more than stealth, but I guess that's kind of important. But then again, I've said in the past, like if you cross certain threshold where like uh, attacking a, a stealth plane becomes a problem, any more stealthier than that, does that matter? Like if, if systems can target a plane because it crossed certain level of like cross section, like it's smaller than that, does it matter how small it is, if it's smaller than F-35 or not, right? So that's the point, like how small the cross section is, can systems pick it up? Can sophisticated modern system take it down? And the more than that, like nowadays more than defense, offense is the point of the modern planes. Like why are we even talking about if something can take it down or like pick up stealth? Its job is to take out the enemy before anyone even know it's there long distance attack so does do they have something like how uss barracuda and all those missiles do they have similar missiles like that like the video said they they have like some but are are they compared comparatively same as the us one right uh, you know do, do they have better sensors better radar can they do that from the long these are all the question it's not just about stealth right so i don't know this is like if this was a fight Right? And people are just talking about somebody's muscles and how big he is and how strong he is. What about skill set? What about like experience? How, how, what, what type of things he do? What about history of how he fights? Like th these are the things, right? It's a contextless statement, but the plane we are looking at is clearly what a lot of 6th gen proposals have been proposing. A tailless shape of simplified geometry. The fact it doesn't seem to have any regular vertical control surfaces is very likely gonna make it harder to control than previous gen planes, almost certainly impacting its maneuverability. But 6th gen designs don't seem to be about maneuverability. That will likely be the job of unmanned drones flying in front of these big manned fighters. It's possible that three engines are also in some way Where there are they to though? help Where are the drones? The Certainly, the split flaps near the wingtips are there to help control the plane. The B-2 bomber uses a similar concept, but in a cruising stage of the flight, those would close shut and be flush with the wings. It's too early to speculate much more. I mean, the wheels are down, so they're not going that high speed, so it makes sense. ...about this plane, but it seems to be a big step up in China's capability, 
so we will leave that speculation for another video, coupled with comparisons to US 6th gen, and what all this might mean for both China and US. Right now, it's just a prototype. Actually, if rumors are to be believed, it's more like a demonstrator, kinda like YF-23 was, or YF-22 was, or the X-32 and X-35 were, and rumor has it that China hasn't yet decided on the final manufacturer, so this may be in fact a proposal from Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, with another 6th gen plane proposal demonstrator plane from Shenyang Aircraft Corporation to fly soon. Some early images may indicate that has already happened, but that's another story. Depending on where US 6th gen program is at, China might have leapfrogged the US Air Force a little bit. If this is indeed a pre-selection prototype, and if US has... Yeah, China's communistic approach is very really weird, right? Not weird, like it makes sense when you think of like all the communistic text. text. Because uh, China is like communist, but also capitalist in a way, like business sense. You think in like more like a, you know, like forced decision way how uh, communistic uh, countries usually work, uh, how dictatorial it can be. You think the CCP would just tell a company or whatever, like backed by CCP, like make me or something, hire people. No, but they are actually doing what US does and like other democratic country does. Gather like, uh, you know, like companies who want to make profit and like line up contracts. Like whoever gets the best gets the contract. This is very American-like. But then again, that is what the communist texts are, right? Like use capitalism to get really richer and then implement communism, which I think China did. China become like insanely rich right now, kind of doing the business and capitalistic mentality, right? And still kept their communistic values and they're tr getting even more richer. So I don't know. If China becomes like ultimate power, richer than anything and like just perfect all around, that would be win for a lot of, you know, like communistic people, right? Who love communism. Like, see, see, China, look at that, see? So far flown only concept and 6th gen technology demo planes, then China might have actually flown the world's first 6th gen fighter. Yep, there you go. They've done it. I mean, I mean, obviously take everything with a grain of salt, but there is something to it. You just saw a kite-shaped plane, how NG-8 is supposed to be. I think this is gonna like spark somewhat fear and paranoia in US Senate. I think they will like, okay, fuck it, keep make NG-8 again. Or maybe not. I, I think both ways it's gonna be interesting. Because if it is like, fuck it, make it NG-8, it will be like, okay. US is doing US things, but if they don't and they're just like relax and just go with the block 4 or F-35 I think there's more strength maneuver than anything else like we are not bothered We know what we're doing. We're America. Come on. I don't care. We don't need 6th gen. We have F-35 block 4 is great enough We'll be fine. Th that would be more of like badass move. I don't know. But yeah, there you go 6th gen. India doesn't even have 5th gen. Okay, now they're making 5th gen. But yeah, China already has 6th gen. If India-China war works out like th th that's gonna be a fucking problem. Like damn, okay. Right, well, that was design role analysis of China's 6th gen fighter, Bachelor Binko's Battleground. I don't know if I've watched videos from him or not, but okay, it feels like an interesting channel. Alright, I'll see you next time.